Hello YouTube, this is a tutorial to show those of you who don't know how torrents and peer-to-peer -peer systems work and how you can download practically anything you want in the entire world in terms of a computer program, a movie, music, software, anything really, games, anything you want can be found on most peer-to-peer -peer networks. Um, a torrent is what you will download once you find the thing that you want and effectively what a torrent is is a program that enables you to download a file off many other people's computers so you can get higher download speeds off a torrent than you can off of any other regular download generally if you have an incredibly fast line the um, torrent should be able to download faster than any other download link if your line is unshaped this is because you can download lots of little pieces from different um, hosts different seeders and that will enable your speed to go much faster than um, one server would um, if you want to find something there are a few different sites my favorite is demonoid um, I have a demonoid account um, it's invite only which is one of the reasons why I like it um, because it's invite only means that um, it's elite and so most of the stuff on here is good uh, they have some a few nice things about it some nice rules like no porn or whatever um, I like th those types of rules on these types of sites um, obviously because it's elite it also makes it more almost safe to download off of here because people have to be approved of what they're done or what they upload um, so it's invite only another site which is free is the pirate bay very good have they have many things just be a bit more careful when you're downloading from sites that aren't um, elite or invite only. Um, what I find the best thing to do is to always, always, always read the comments. The comments will tell you everything about that. If it's good, if it's bad, if it's okay, if it's not okay, whatever. Um, another program which I use or another website is a program called Tar Google or Tar Google or whatever you want to, however you want to read that. What it enables you to do is to search torrents from many different torrent sites. Um, you can use that, but I actually prefer to use Google to do that. Um, it's more complete. There's less searches into other searches. So what torrent Google, this thing can sometimes do is you can search something and it'll give you a link into a search of another site. So let's say you wanted to search CSI, for example. Um, it, might, it may very well link you into a CSI search um, from the Pirate Bay. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see search, 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 search. Those are search results or searches within another site. So I don't really pref um, like using that very much. So it'll give you a link like with a search like this, which isn't really what you're wanting. I mean, you're wanting the actual CSI Miami 9.9, .9, which means um, Season 9, Episode 9. And there it is, and I'll explain what some of the stuff here is. Um, if you want to use Google, which I actually find most of my stuff on Google, if I can't find it on Demonoid. Um, to use Google, what we do is, let's say we want to find CSI Season 9, or CSI Season 8, so we type CSI um, Season... Oh, let's go to Season 10. Um, for ex if we just typed it in, it doesn't help us very much. You need to learn how to use Google to find stuff that you want to download. The easiest way to do this is to quite simply type in dot torrent. Very simple, isn't it? So here it has a few different links to different um, torrent sites. Here's one that we can see, KKS Torrents, CSI. Let's open that. Um, a nice trick that you can learn is if you want to open something in a new tab, you may press the middle mouse button on your mouse like that or what I find easier is you can hold down control and then left click um, just be careful if you want to scroll down whilst you're holding down control because if you hold down control and scroll down it zooms out or scroll up it zooms in so scroll, um, control left click or middle mouse button um, so here's you see this is one other problem with the search engine it's put us into a search not into the file like it has here this is what we want so there it has all the different episodes for example and what we need to look out for and what you always need to look out for is um, when you want to download something the most important thing 
that you need to find is the cedars. So let me quickly explain to you what a cedar is. A cedar is someone who has the completed file downloaded on their computer and it is running in their peer-to-peer -peer program. Um, they upload the file to whoever downloads it from them. Okay, So the more cedars a file has or a torrent has, the faster it will download up until a point obviously. So for example this CSI episode 1 to 22 season 10 has three cedars okay so that means that there are three people in the world who have the completed file on their computer and are uploading it now as I said the more cedars there are the better so if you got two torrents and you don't know which one you should take obviously always take the one with the more cedars um, that's a nice thing about demonoid we can sort by um, cedars descending right so it'll put the most cedars at the top and then we can oh, demonoid slow today then we can select the one that we want in terms of cedars by priority of the most cedars um, now another thing that you'll see on these sites is something called a leech you are a leech if you download something off of a cedar you're a leech someone who's a leech is downloading that file off of a cedar so leeches don't really affect you I mean if there's more leeches than cedars it means that you're not going to be number one in this list you're not going to get the fastest because it has to be shared amongst all the other leeches but the most important thing is to look for cedars like look here for example here it shows that there are 53 cedars so that's cool CSI Las Vegas there it is CSI Las Vegas 53 cedars shows that's how many completed downloads there have been so we know that it's pretty reliable and as I said, we can go look at the comments. Doesn't look like there's anything bad here. You don't really need to worry about looking at comments for videos. I'd be more worried about looking at comments for programs or games where they could very easily be a Trojan or virus, a keylogger or whatever. That that person has thought they were very clever when they're actually a big moron and try to catch someone out who doesn't know what they're doing. Now, from the websites, normally it's pretty self-explanatory how to download them. Download whatever you can download download um with the pirate bay this is a an advert it's not actual an actual download you want to press download this torrent sometimes magnet link if this doesn't work but mostly just download this torrent um that is the most efficient way of downloading the torrents um often if you search something like this is a prime example um no it's not um often websites will have advertisements um, just watch out for them. I mean, they'll be, all be like exactly what you've searched for. That's when you know it's an advert. If it's exactly what you um, searched for and it's it normally says sponsored links, but some of them try to catch you out. And what those will do is you'll click on it and it'll just link you to another site, which will link you to another. Um, another nice thing about Kickass Torrents, as you can see here, it shows you the thumbs up and the thumbs down. So obviously. 13 people have said it's good and not people have said it's bad which pretty much tells me that it's good I mean obviously he could have got 13 of his friends to say that it's good but I mean it's quite unlikely that no one would have downloaded and said it's bad um, so we're gonna download the torrents obviously there's an ad we don't want that we want to click to download the torrents um, I've set my Google Chrome up in such a way that as soon as I finish downloading it the torrent it opens it okay so the way I did that is it just and that was not anything dodgy that was just the pop-ups that sometimes come and it's just quite often websites torrent websites in particular will um, make pop-ups they they're nothing it just you can just close them so um, you'll browse to it and you'll left click or whatever anyway I mean I, I didn't click on any ads or anything and it opened some pop-ups it just sometimes happens it's just the thing about downloading from torrent sites I mean they need to make their money somehow so now that I've downloaded the torrent and I was showing you how to auto open it, um, it's when when it downloads, there's a little arrow next that you can click on it and press always open this file type. I think on completion or something like that. Right? So when you open the torrent file, it shows you all the files within that file that you can download. Um, you can select the ones you want or select all of them, select none of them, select whatever you want. Select the download place. That's basically all you really need to know and then you just press OK. Um, now in there's different peer-to-peer -peer clients 
Um, U-Torrent is one of the best. It's free. It's light. It's clean. What, what I mean by it's light, it doesn't require much resources. It barely needs anything to, to run. It needs very little RAM. It needs very little CPU. Obviously, it needs all of your internet, but it doesn't really require much in terms of the hardware side to run smoothly. Um, it's also very stable. There are a few others. One of them is BitTorrent. That was one of the originals. Um, U-Torrent's better because it's lighter, in my opinion, um, and it's a lot more stable. Um, another one is... I don't know, there's a few of them. You can... but I recommend U-Torrent. I'll put a link in the description. So, the way that it works is basically you start it, stop it, pause it. Um, in my opinion, the best way to do it, if you want to stop it, is not to pause it, because it can take like sometimes five minutes if there's enough, if there's lots of seeders, to close off all the connections. So you can just press stop, and it'll me immediately cut them. And when you start up again, it may take um, that extra five seconds than it would if you paused it, but it's the stopping is a lot quicker, especially if you don't have the fastest line. Um, the move up and down the queue doesn't really mean much. I mean, you can move it up the queue, and it'll have priority over something else. But normally, the more seeders will download faster. Um, a cool thing about uTorrent is that you can schedule your downloads. So you can limit what time of day gets what speeds. Um, I have a download computer in the other room, um, in my other part of my house, and I have set it up so that it only downloads at, um, let's say it doesn't download at Wednesday at between 11 and 11 and 11 and 12 basically. So now it's not going to download 11 and 12. We can set it up in any way that we want, Ooh. any way that we want um, to download or not download. That's quite a cool function about it. So you can download all the torrents that you want. Um, once it's finished downloading, obviously it'll, there's a pop-up that tells you uh, it's finished downloading. You can open it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, thank you for watching this YouTube video. Please subscribe and comment.